Hello guys. So in the previous section, we discussed and we saw what is the basics uh, of using ArcMap and ArcGIS desktop. Uh, in this section, the advanced section, we will go through so many things, but we will start by creating a geodatabase and some feature classes. Uh, in order for us to create geodatabase, we need to go to Arc Catalog. And what I need you to do is to create a new folder inside your course data. And we will call it Arc GIS Desktop Advanced. And inside this folder, I want you to create another folder, call it Personal and File Geodatabase. So here, if you right click here, you will see that you have so many things to create, but we will focus in this video in these two things. Basically, they are the same, but the difference between them, the file geodatabase is ESRI formation, which means when you create a file geodatabase, ESRI create uh, files in your folder location that you want to understand what this file do. Similar thing to shapefile. Remember when we open the shapefile on our folder path and it looks totally different than what it looks on Arc Catalog? File geodatabase will be exactly the same. And the personal geodatabase is a geodatabase but using Microsoft Access database. And so we will try to create both of them and go to the folder location and see what is the difference between them. One of the main things to keep in mind is it's always better to, cre to create a file geodatabase because personal geodatabase is a Microsoft Access database and it have a limit of two gigabytes of storage and after you add some data like let's say you used about 500 megabytes out of this two gigabytes things gonna be start to be slow and using the data and editing and actually view the data on ArcMap using a personal geodatabase is relatively slow to comparing to a file geodatabase so we are gonna create our first uh, geodatabase we're gonna be a file so we're gonna create a file geodatabase and we are going to call it file GDP. And we are going to keep it the same. We're going to right click and create a personal geodatabase. GDP. As you see here, the file geodatabase have an extension of GDP. The personal geodatabase doesn't have any extension show up here because when we go to our folder location, we go to the advanced folder, personal file geodatabase you will see the file geodatabase here is actually a folder so when you open this folder as you see here you have so many files that have different extensions and you want to understand what these things do you only have the ability to control it and view it from our catalog but if we go back here and we look at the personal geodatabase we will see that there's two files have been created and this is Microsoft Access database if we open it, it will open a Microsoft Access. Say OK. And you will see that there's so many different uh, tables here that have been created. So you have no control over these tables. And if you changed anything in here, you might actually miss the entire database and you may actually miss it up totally. And when you add more uh, feature classes or more data, you will see more tables and more data here. But if you try to change anything in here, you might actually ruin the entire uh, geodatabase. So it is always suggested to use a file geodatabase just in case you have a specific use for a personal geodatabase. And one of the uses is that you have your entire geodatabase here in just two files and you have a limit of two gigabytes. So if you know that you are going to create uh, like a geodatabase that going to be very small, very relative to a specific area and you want to send it to someone so they can open it and view it actually in Microsoft Access Database, you can create a personal geodatabase. But if you want to create a geodatabase for your own usage and you might actually add a lot of data, it's always better to create a file geodatabase. And as you see, one of the other things is like uh, the size here is like once we created it without adding any data, we have 400 kilobytes for the personal geodatabase. 
for the file j database if you check the size you will see that is actually have the size so that gives you like an indication of uh, the size difference between the file j database and the personal j database so again this is the difference between a file j database and a personal j database but on arc catalog they are exactly the same you can create the same exact things and you won't find any difference between them so that's it for this video and we'll see you on the next one thanks